around this uh, week ago on a Monday night told us that it was going to be a godfather offer for John Longmire to go and coach the Kangaroos. You had a 1999 Premiership reunion where John Longmire attended that on the weekend. Duck, did you get a feeling that that was going to happen? Oh, look, the one thing that uh, you got from Horse on the weekend, he was one of the boys. He was just one of the Premiership players. He, he wasn't a coach, but... Just get the feeling in and amongst the group, and there was some hierarchy there um, from past uh, and also present. Just get the feeling, I think Tom might have been right on the money. I think there might be an offer given to Johnny Longmire that he has to seriously consider. I'm not suggesting at all that he is leaving because he's, he's one of the most loyal guys you'll, you'll ever get. He loves Sydney. Sydney have been great to him. He's got his family there. John Blakey, his best mate, he's got his son obviously playing at the footy club. I, I think if he left... John would have to go. So there's a lot of rippling effects if he was to leave. But the money might be too big for him to refuse. That's, that's How big is the money? Yeah. What, what are we talking? Well, I think if you, if you look at... And I'm not one to, uh, to delve into these types of things, but there were, were figures thrown around. Like, you might be looking at $1.6 to $1.8 million a year. Over how many years? Over five years, which is... Per year, which is a, Which is a huge amount of money. Oh. I mean, if he was to be offered $1.8 million a year... It, it would be hard for Horse to refuse. And if he did, and for all those people out there wondering why North could offer that, well, I think they have a little bit of room in their soft cap. I'm not so sure Sydney have as much room in theirs. So um, it's all, you always get offered more to leave a club. Yeah. So he's going to get offered more to leave Sydney. Tim, is he worth Whether he's one... prepared to, to, to give up that sort of money to stay. Is he worth $1.8 million, though? I mean, what, the, the ramifications for the spend on your football department, department alone... Yeah. Other coaches would obviously miss out on jobs. Yeah, well, he's had success. So if you believe that John Longmire is a man that you want to build your football club, because that's what North Melbourne are saying now, isn't it? They want to have a rebuild of their football club. He's been associated with the, one of the finest clubs in the modern era in terms of the Sydney Swans, so he knows what it is about them that he would need to be able to bring to North Melbourne to rebuild that. So if they've got the money, they're prepared to offer that money, and they believe that he is the linchpin in the rebuild, then he's worth that. I think that would be reckless. If they were to pay that much money, they need to get you a, a you football. You were saying last a week football, a guy that's had one good game in the AFL yeah, should get a million dollars. Yeah, and how did he go on the weekend? But I didn't say two, a million dollars. Two, I said, should a Victorian games. club offer him some money? I think you can see he played pretty well, Riley O'Brien. Yes. But 1.8 million, one man doesn't fix a football club. I think they need to get a good football boss. They need to change yeah. their footy department. But you can get do a all young that. coach, the next Luke Beveridge. You can do all that, though. If you want to go about it like 1. that. 1.8 million. But you go out there and you get your 1.8 million, that's okay? You can't pay him 1.8 million. 1.8 million if you don't believe you're going to be able to get the 1.8 million dollars in. But if you can and you believe that he is the person that you want for the next five years to consolidate your football club and deliver success, go after him. You're worth what someone's prepared to pay. Well, not with a soft cap, though. It puts your whole... Well, you can, break the, soft can cap. break the soft cap. You just got to pay a tax. Uh, yeah, tax North so. Melbourne's one of the, the most cash-strapped clubs in the competition. Oh, anymore, hey, no, there's no such thing as a cash strap not club anymore because everybody just goes to the <laughs> AFL with cap in hand and they say, OK. Well, the AFL uh, sign off allow on us to survive. Too, so I, I don't know if they'd even let North Melbourne pay one well, point. let's have a listen to the man himself because he was asked today at a press conference. Fair to say that John Longmire hasn't exactly ruled out the chance. No, I haven't got more to add, really, I'm, uh, than what I added it, what I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. It's not something that's, um, that's in my control. Does it interest you at all, the North Melbourne job? I'm not commenting on that job because, it's, as I've said a couple of weeks ago, I've got a job here and that's what I'm focused on. So there you go, John Longmire talking uh, what today. I, what I will say, and I and I said the exact... No matter what happens, Johnny Longmire is going to be in a better position, oh. isn't he? Infinitely. Because, yeah, that's right. So I, I, it's fantastic for him. He's a wanted man yeah. and uh, he'll, he'll reap the benefits of that. Whether he leaves or whether he stays, he's going to be well looked after from whichever ever club wants him. Does, how, how, how desperate or how hard do you think Sydney would fight? If it got into a bidding war with North Melbourne, how hard do you think they'd fight to keep it? It would be fascinating. Like Andrew Pridham's already said that it's a bit like looking at a beautiful boat in the harbour. You might <laughs> like the look of it, but you're not having it. Ain't going to happen. Uh, he's got a contract <laughs> in staying. So I think if John Longmire went to them and said, hey, this is an opportunity for life. I've coached mm. a premiership. I think that happens. I think he breaks the contract, but I don't think Andrew Pridham will be in the business of making it easy. Your old coach, Dennis Pagan, had a bit to say in the last 48 hours. It's always interesting when Pay goes Please, let's have a listen to what he had to say to our own Mark Stevens. Well, I don't know what, what sort of money the club would be talking about, but if I was in charge, we'd be making a uh, godfather offer. I think Johnny uh, Longmire is probably closer than uh, the other uh, two. And if Johnny's 
caught up and I'd understand that if he couldn't uh, accept a, an invitation like that, I think Johnny Blackie would be an ideal uh, person, especially now that his son's playing in the seniors and it just doesn't work when you've got to coach your son. Do you see the, the, the Scott era as a success? The ten-year period there. I mean, there was no, prelims. I, I think it was. I think it was mediocre, and I think the figures tell you that. Well, if Dennis Pagan says a godfather offer, given what he would have got to leave North Melbourne to go to Carlton, that suggests high one. Would he be involved? Would Dennis get involved in the negotiation? Do you think? Um, not sure. Not sure. Although he look, he was he was there on the weekend. It was good to see all of the old crew back together. But like I said, mixing with the new, and that's one of the criticisms of Brad: the fact that he didn't mix with any of the old. It was all the new. So I think Dennis wants a player to come back and embrace the footy club as a whole.